Hey guys, Mechanic CG here, and welcome back to another episode of Forza Motorsport 3. Today is episode number 71. If you want to help support the channel, then leave a like, comment down below, and subscribe, and feel free to check out the other videos in the Forza Mega Series. Now let's get into the content. This video was streamed live on Twitch. Come watch us live with the link in the description. If you want to get cheap game keys for Xbox, PlayStation or PC, then check out Eniba in the description down below. All right, so we're here for the Motul 600 horsepower runoff. We're going to be taking the Audi R8 for this. We have upgraded it through from A class to S class. It's got about 600 horsepower. Uh, Amalfi Coast, Bugatti Circuit, Suzuka Circuit, uh, Silverstone and then Ladera test track. Let's get going. All right, here we go. The Audi This has made a couple of appearances and I feel like it's going to make a few more Holy shit that four-wheel drive picks up Turning circles not great though. Uh, yeah, so one of the problems with emulating on the steam deck um is the fact that the Steam Deck, although it's got an insane graphics card in it, like, it's surprisingly powerful. It, it is obviously a PC. It's got a graphics processor. Um, like, a proper graphics processor and a CPU. Not, like, when you... When you look at a laptop that's got integrated graphics, it's just got a mediocre graphics processor enough that he can display images and videos right um and then it's got you know your cpu cores when you look at the steam deck it's got a proper like yeah our dna 2 is fucking killer but it's got an actual like graphics processing so the problem with that is the performance that you see of the steam deck of all these games on steam it has the power of CPU and the power of graphics, actual graphics performance, not just, you know, a crappy integrated processor. Now that causes a lot of problems because obviously Valve have designed the Steam Deck with only four cores in it, in the CPU. That's all that you really need for gaming nowadays. Games are very graphically demanding, but not very computationally demanding um obviously simulation games are obviously getting more intricate they need more cpu cores but like actual just regular gaming doesn't need any more than four cores like if you s anywhere from four to eight cores is basically what you need for gaming anything more than eight is just wasted potential unless you're emulating So, my phone has absolutely no problem with emulating PSP games. Some of them are obviously a little bit of a headache for it, but it's got little to no problem. Even though the core clock speed is like 2 point something gigahertz in my phone, it's got 8 cores. So, and again, even though the graphics processor is like integrated graphics... It's got actual CPU cores, and that's what's needed for game, video game emulation. The graphics card doesn't get touched in most emulation circumstances. Because it's a computer computing a fake computer, which is the CPU's job, pretty much. So, I mean, the Steam Deck is great for those lighter emulation things but for some reason PPS is PP it was running at 55 FPS for Gran Turismo right which sure if the game was running and ran like a normal PC game 55 FPS would have been fine I wouldn't have cared but because of the fact that it doesn't run the same as like a normal PC application it expects 60 FPS. So when you're emulating, it's emulating a console running at 60 FPS. 
if it drops frames, I mean, that game slows down. And it's similar to, uh, if you look at my Forza Motorsport 1 playthrough, whenever a car went in the pit lane, um, the entire game went slow motion. Um, it went half speed. And that was because the Xbox 360 just didn't have enough cores to keep up with the game. The Xbox 360 was like, had a three core processor or something. It was something stupid. So yeah, it didn't have enough cores to do its emulation properly. And it ends up slowing down. So the Steam Deck does suffer with that a little bit. Um, so as, a, as an emulation console, obviously I didn't tinker. I didn't properly delve deep into um, trying to fix it or problem solve it or whatever. I know there are people that can do that. And if you can do it, fair play to you. I don't have the time, the patience, or the energy to do it for what is just messing around with a couple of older games. Um, so yeah, it's a bit disappointing on that front, but again, for the price of Steam Deck, I mean, it's a no-brainer. Still a bloody fucking brilliant console. Shit. That's not good. I am very much interested to see what um, Valve does next, though. Obviously, another Steam Deck probably won't come out for another two years. And it probably won't release for about three years, but it will get announced in two years. But I'd like to see the next one have an SD card slot cover. I mean, those SD cards get really hot. That's like my only negative about the Steam Deck. Obviously, the emulation thing, that's not really a negative. That's just I'm not good enough at working out emulation. But like an actual negative is the SD card slot on the Steam Deck. It is hot when it's under load. Any load. Um, and if you touch that on bare skin, whether that's your leg, your stomach, your chest, whatever, it burns. So that needs a cover on it to make it sort of comfortable to use. But yeah, that's... And maybe a more, more cause would be nice. Like an 8-core processor for, like, a Steam Deck Pro. But even if it costs, like, an extra 200 quid compared to the last one, if it's a Pro model, it's going to have better graphics and better CPU and stuff like that. It'd be worth it. Not bad, though. Good start. 11 grand. I'll take it. All right, here we go. Audi. Oh, bad. I'm surprised that this thing is doing a better job than the uh, Satan behind us. Glad I picked the Audi once more. No, 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 no. Oh my god, it's half nine. Fucking hell. Am 
Wait, are we going to get a chance to mess around with the Steam Deck tonight? <laughs> oh, i got to do a lot of um, thumbnail editing work tomorrow. Tidying, YouTube videos sorting out. And then I'm probably going to do some more Dirt Rally because I really fucking enjoyed that the other day. And then, by the time it's the next Forza stream, actually, chat, you will 50% have a 50% chance of knowing if I've passed or failed. The other 50% chance is that it's been fucking cancelled again. Because, <laughs> uh, to be perfectly honest, I have no trust in the DVSA. So, they could cancel whenever. I'm telling you now, if they cancel this one, they're paying for all my lessons. Proper ripped into him last time. Nah. They cancelled my test two months ago. Fucking livid I was. They're just willingly able to cancel a test and then expect you to pay for more lessons to keep in check and keep in practice. You know, because you need to practice to still be good at driving. You can't just not drive for two months and then take a test and be like, oh yeah, it's perfect. You're going to make mistakes until you get back into it. So you got to keep driving. You know. But yeah, hopefully soon we'll find out if I can drive legally on the road or not. Not 
Not bad. I think this is now um, track radio. It's not actual playlist. Because this I did not add. Yeah, playing from mix. Not bad. And there we go. Meow. So we got 13 grand, 9,000 XP. Next race, we should be level 5 on this car. Alright, here we go. Starting in second. We're also coming up to uh, 69 hours on the timer. With 68 hours, 56 minutes, and 22 seconds at the moment. But the seconds and the minutes pretty much don't matter at the moment. With how much time we've sort of like, ah, forgotten to add and added too much and all that it's at this point we're literally just keeping an eye on the hours oh, a little bit wide there not ideal but Still fine. Still fine. Still fine. Look how angry the Audi R8 looks. Yeah, so PPS's PP will run good the more cores it has. The more processing cores and the more powerful the processor, obviously it will do better. But if you give it like eight cores, it will it will bath in that. Like it will have no problem. But if it's got four cores, it needs to be some killer processor. Like four cores at like eight gigahertz to be able to run smoothly with no hiccups. My PC is six cores and it, it has no problems, but it boosts to five gigahertz. So, or like near five gigahertz, it's, it's quite a high number. Bloody hell, that undersea is ridiculous. Fuck's sake. Break now, break now. I probably need to get a drink after this, because my throat is drier than a camel's fanny. This car's undersea is unreal. It's 
like barely turn it into the corners. You've still got a sailing on your ass there. Not bad. Fucking hell. <laughs> oh, what the fuck? Skrillex remix. What are you waiting for? But a bum bum, banan bum bum, banananam, banananam bum. Little bit bumpy. My mind's telling me no. But my body, my body is telling me yeah. yeah, yeah. As we go towards the light, when everything. You said and done If only one The edge has done So yeah, this car with all these upgrades is not ideal. It's so light, but it just understeers like a pig. I think a pig has better handling than this. Races to go. Woohoo! level 5. 10% discount on twin screw supercharger upgrades by PES. Ooh! Down, 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 down. Come over, I got an excuse. Rem, 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 rem. Avoid the obvious. 
Turn, you fat pig. There you go. Look into your eyes. Kick starts again. We've we have hit sixty nine minutes now, which is uh sorry, not sixty nine minutes, sixty nine hours. Jesus Christ, if it's sixty nine minutes that'd be uh concerning. into your eyes This is literally going to be a nine minute race. What the fuck? Go, go, go! Fast car. From. I'm in way too deep now. Not bad. Just go the wrong way on the track, why not? <laughs> mm -hmm. Epping coming up.
Bad one more lap. See if we can make this one the fastest. See, when you properly focus, you can actually do some really, really fast laps. It's a musical tune. One twenty, not bad. Woohoo! All right. No XP to be gained. Hey girl. Hey boy. Superstar DJ. Woo! Nice. This thing's gonna struggle to do this track because this is a lot of corners. It's almost like the diff in the rear just does not want to rotate. Woo! That was a close corner cut. Boy, superstar DJs. Cool, I'm cooking something else then. I said I'm cooking something else then. I cannot stand mashed potato. Blech. I 
like how you can see like all these flags in the grandstands and everything. It's just little details like that in these older games that actually made them. Made the atmosphere what it is. Ah. Uh. Jesus Christ. Do, 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 do. Hey, girl. Hey, boy. Superstar DJs. Here we go. I love this song. clue what the hell happened then. Huh? Bear with. This saline's right on my ass here. Oh, Jesus. Yeah, no, there's no way I'm coming back from that one. <laughs> I don't even know what went wrong. It's really strange, because whenever it touches the... um painted lines, which normally painted lines are quite slippery, but this, it just sticks. It's kind of weird, because why don't they just paint the track with the entirely of painted lines, if they're sticky? More grip. Woohoo! Yeah. Feel intoxicated. Win a win a win a win a win a It just sticks. <laughs> it's like glue. We got another thirty seconds of this race. Breaks. Corner. Breaks. Corner. Breaks. Accelerate. Breaks. Corner. 
this is a vicious cycle. Not bad. This game is starting to lag a little bit. I'm uh, slightly concerned that my Xbox might blow up. <laughs> I don't know how much life it's got left in it. Quite an old old thing though, so it might be dying. Not a bad. Thank you very much. So thank you guys so much for watching. If you did enjoy, be sure to leave a like, comment down below and subscribe, and I will see you in the next one. Peace out.